Hey, yeah, too. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? This is Miss Olu. How are you guys doing? I hope you are enjoying yourself wherever you are. Okay, today I am going to show you how to solve missing number problems. Some of my students always have problem with this type of question. They miss it. But today I am going to help you and show you an easy way to do this so the first question we're going to do we're going to start simple no, we're going to start with an easy number so let's say you have nine add something equals 11. we're not sure how to do this but the thing i want you to always remember when you have this type of question is to do the inverse okay you're going to write another number sentence let me show you what i mean so we are going to write 11 first, first because 11 is bigger in subtraction. In 11, we write the biggest number first. So we're going to write a new number sentence like this. 11, remember, we are going to change the adding addition to subtraction. 11 add 9. 11 take away 9. That's what we're going to do because we have 9 here equals this blank is now going to be here okay so now this looks like the one we can do because we have changed it around so that's what you do the first step you do is to change the number around write a new number sentence so this is easy to do we have 11 by now you should know how to do 11 take away 9 so we start from 11 we have 11 in our head we count backward so 10 9 so 11 take away 9 is 2 so we have 2 and that's as easy as you can see and do it now we are going to make a very very tricky number now remember year 2 is not that tricky you just need to keep practicing so let's say we have 45 plus something equals 78 wow this is a big number how can i do this all you need to do is to write a new number sentence for you to help yourself so remember you start with the big number so we in this case we have 78 as our big number so we write 78 we need to change the adding to takeaway sign okay after doing that you write your 45 now we are able to do this equals we Put the blank here so this looks normal for you now it looks like what you can do then what do i need to do i can't do this in my head can i hmm it will take a lot of time but i know other ways so i just turn this to tens and units like that okay then i draw my tens and my ones so i draw seven tens make 70 so that would be 10 20 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we have 70. How many ones are we supposed to draw? I think we need to draw eight ones. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I need to draw 70, uh, 45? Hmm, no. I don't need to draw this number here because I am taking this number away from this big number here. So I don't need to draw this. So I am just going to cross out my 45 from this that I have made, from this number I made. So how many 10s? Yes, yeah, so you're right, it's 4 10. So 10, we cross it out like that. 20, 30, 40. See? How many 1s? 5 1s. 1, 2, three four five how many do we have left 10 20 30 31 32 33 yes you're right our answer is 33 i want you to watch this again okay and watch it all over again now i'm going to give you a question for you to do yourself are you ready are you ready to start okay now i'm going to give you a question to do let's drop this off pause the video and you try and do this question so 34 plus 
something gives me 54. Hmm. How do I do this? Do you know how to do this? Pause the video. Remember what you need to do. The step one you need to do is to rewrite. Write another number sentence to help yourself and change this sign to take away. Do the opposite. Opposite of addition is subtraction. So you rewrite that in subtraction to help yourself. And always remember you start with the biggest number because we are subtracting. So can you see that? Yes. So that's what you do. And then, uh, yeah, pause the video. Okay, I'll show you what to do now. And remember, we start with the no, big number 54. Should we write add or take away? Yes, you're right, because we're doing the opposite. We are rewriting the sentence. We're writing the sentence again to help us. And take away 34 equals... We're not sure. So we write it like this. Then we draw our tens and units. Okay, we draw five tens, 20, 30, 40, 50, and four ones. One, two, three, four. Okay, Should, do we need to draw 34? No. So we need to take 34 away from. A lot of my students made a mistake. They may always make a mistake of drawing this number. It's not adding. We are taking away. So we don't need to draw that again. Okay. It's just like you having a five suite and somebody wants to take away. You want to give your sister three. You don't go and get three more suites. You give uh, from the five suites you have. So that's the same thing here. So we take away 34 from 54. So how many tens? So three tens. 10, 20, 30. So we cross it out to help us. How many ones? Cross out the number. One, two, three, four. So what do we have left? We've got 20. Left 10, 20. Yes? So our answer is 20. Can you see that is very easy? Okay. So I am going to give you some questions to do yourself and you can send it to me. Those are in my class. You can send it to me and your parents are going to send it to me. So I'm going to write this question for you to solve. Would you be able to solve this question if I give it to you? 32 plus something gives me mm, 64. What do you think it might be? Another one, pause the video and do it. 30, 43 plus something gives me 82. Okay? Can you do this question? And yeah, and let me know if you still need more help with this. We're going to do the addition type or let me actually show you quickly how to do that one. Okay, so we're still solving the missing problem. Let's do this one to make it easy for us. So let's say you have a question like this. 66 take away something equals 23. Some of us are really not sure how to do this, but I will show you. Remember, we, do not <laughs> we don't need to swap the number here. You just write the number you just take this one and put it. Let me show you what I mean. You don't need to change the sign. You just keep it like that. 66. Take away this number here. You just swap the number. Equals. Then the blank will be at the, book, at the back. That's all you need for that kind of question. Okay. So 66. Take away something. Equals 20. Take away 23. Equals something. So. Like we were doing earlier, you just draw your tens and ones. So six tens, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, six ones. We are not going to draw 23 because we don't need to. So we're going to take 23 away from 66. So what do we do? We are going to start with taking two tens, cross it out, 20. And how many ones? One, two, three. What do we have left? 
10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. 43 is our answer. Yes, that's how you write. You, you see a question like this, you rewrite it, but instead of swapping, you, uh, you're just going to swap that number to, for this one. Then you draw your unit you, and your tens, then you take it away from them, from this number, and you get your answer. And that's how you do that. Yes, I hope this will help you to know some of the questions that they give you that you find really tricky. I hope this helps you to do that. I'm just thinking if we could do any more. Yeah, let me quickly show you one more. Let me quickly show you one more to do. There's one that I'm, I think, yes, this type of question, if you have a blank in front of your question and they say, okay, they give you a question like this. How do you think you can do this? Yes, what do you think you need to do? There's nothing much to do than to just bring, remember, you still need to so you turn this to take away, okay? You bring this big number, you did the opposite. You write the number sentence again, you bring 48, take away 27 equals blank. We don't know the answer. And that's what, how you rewrite that one. It's as simple as that. Then you draw your tens and units. So how many tens for tens? 20, 30, 40. How many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you are going to take 27. Don't draw any more number from 20, 48. So two tens, cross it out. That's two tens. How many ones? You're crossing out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many do you have left? You have, what do you have left? You have 10, 20, 21. So your answer is 21. I hope this helps. And I'm going to give you, quickly give you a question to do. All right, so you can try this question out. If you have a blank plus 32 equals 56. You can try that and show it to your parents and check out the videos of the ones I've done before. Guys, I hope this helps you. I will make more videos to help you in your, because some of you are going to be sitting sat soon in the UK. So if you need more help, let me know. Leave it a comment below on the type of math you want me to do. All right. So, yeah. And if you want more help on a workbook that you could use for your children to help them with their maths or reading, um, I'll put a link below and I will do more videos to help you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.